at 9. It's been there for more than 70 years. Now the Comanche Trail Improvement Board is looking to update the historic amphitheater in Big Spring. Fox 24's Caleb Califano has more on what these improvements entail and how they plan to fund them. The Comanche Trail Amphitheater in Big Spring is, well, big. Not too far behind historic Red Rocks in Colorado. However, it's not nearly as used. But with these new upgrades coming, the Improvement Board hopes that will change. It has a lot of steps and a lot of seats. The Comanche Trail Amphitheater has been a staple of Big Spring for decades. And it's looking to get some upgrades. So today we actually looked at uh, where our funds are and how, you know, where our shortfall is as far as moving on with phase one. Due to its age, the historic amphitheater has multiple shortcomings the Improvement Board wants to upgrade, including a new roof and better handicap parking. This Tuesday, they discussed another way to bring in funds, corporate sponsorships. We haven't had as much luck with our grants, our nonprofit grants, as we'd, we'd hoped, so we're reaching out to uh, some of the corporations in the area to see if we can uh, get some financial support for our project. The overall amphitheater project is broken down into three parts, totaling more than one million dollars. With phase one being a large chunk of the cost, they hope the corporate sponsors like SM Energy can push them over the fiscal edge. That will allow construction to move forward to get all ADA compatibility on site. With every stone step, the Comanche Trail Amphitheater has been a part of Big Spring history since before World War II. And for the Improvement Board, they only want to see it at its fullest potential. It's for the area. It is a beautiful facility with a certain amount of upgrades. It can be as good as Red Rocks up in Colorado, and that's our goal. Now, if everything goes to plan, the Improvement Board hopes to have construction up and running by the beginning of next year. In Big Spring, Caleb Califano, Fox 24 News.